taking a look here, you're going to see we've got quite a bit of aggressive expansion, which is a uh, bad news because Oldenburg, who we have a short truce with, you can see here, we just truced them out. We're going to be able to attack them pretty soon. And uh, they have allied Hamburg for better or for worse. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the opportunity there to, uh, to attack them and to annex Hamburg. Now, that's going to be tough because, again, <laughs> they're pretty mad at us. So we're going to have to figure that out. These guys are young. Or he is young, rather. I'm going to re-elect him once, maybe twice. And, uh, you know, do what we can with that. Now we're going to have to fight some rebels over here. So that's a big one. Build construction time and fort defense is nice. Infantry combat ability is very nice. We can turn that fort off as well. We don't need to be paying for that. Save up our money. Now, obviously, the sooner we can attack them, the better. But we're not going to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and make sure we are getting our crown land up. We want to get it over 20 as soon as possible. And we are still way ahead of time on that. So let's go ahead and um, take down that autonomy there. Make sure you guys are on local dev cost. And uh, do a little bit of production dev since we've got plenty of spare mana from that. Now, sadly, that production dev is not going to be as good for us because it's most of the, the goods produced are going into the English Channel. So you'll see there, there's more goods now over there. Um... But we'll still make money off the production efficiency. Just not so much goods produced. But it's fine. Later on, obviously, we will we will make our money back tenfold. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Death Martian here in Flavor Universe House. I hope you guys have been enjoying the run. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Now, yes. So these guys are actually in a trade league. They joined the trade league. Okay, I think that may actually not even be a new thing. So let's make sure we are... We have our favors with these guys. Let's make sure we get our trust up with them a little more. These guys have lots of favors as well. So let's get our trust up with them one time. The more trust they have, the more willing they're going to be to join your stuff in the general. In general, rather. Take that. There you go. We're now five years ahead of time on that tech as well, which is going to give us 20% production efficiency. And I will take the prestige. Uh, this is fine. A little bit of tax is not going to hurt us. And we have free advisors. Um... I really don't think we can justify it. I guess we'll go with like a maintenance guy. That's usually, if I can get an advisor when my economy is hurt and I can try to get the ones that are going to be kind of like the least punishing, right? This one helps pay for himself because it lowers this this number. Or uh, not that number, uh, this number here. So mana or mercantilism. Right now, mana would be the best. But mercantilism is the best long-term play because it gives you um, provincial trade power. So we're going to go with the mercantilism. It's a bit of a honeypot to just take this. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. They're going to get that uh, years of separatism there. That's unfortunate. Or maybe not. Maybe not. No, they did. It's okay. Now, So now you just stand here and they'll they'll come and attack me. It's fine. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. No big deal. And now we lose like a million and one ducats. But on the bright side, they are, um, you know, we're safe from them beating up on us now. So, let's see here. Our truce with these guys is over. They are in the trade league. I could call in Brunswick and Munster. Now, if I was going to do this, I'd probably want to call in Bohemia as well. So, I think it's worth waiting at least a few years. Once those guys are... There you go. Let's get them drilling again. And let's preemptively get mill access through these guys. Very good. And that will allow us to come over here, wipe these guys out, and then immediately run over and wipe out these guys as well. Now, I should have naval dominance. Let's see here. What's my force limit? Let's get a couple more ships. Yeah, three more galleys is going to be a good call. Bremen is no longer getting the uh, unlawful territory, which is great. So, things are going smoothly, I think. Let's offer these guys mill access and all that. We should we should just do that with all of our friends just to make sure we keep our relations nice and high. It doesn't take up a slot or anything like that. So anything you can do to get your relations up with your friends, you should do it. So we are going to be good to go in like four months. So let's get our boys morale up. Takes about four morale or four months rather. And as soon as Bohemia is willing to join, let's actually make sure they still would be because the distant war might actually be affecting them. <clears throat> Bohemian manpower crap yeah um, base production is really solid yes please we'll take that um, I'm gonna wait we're gonna make it that mill tech those tactics is gonna be really good shoot 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 that is no good um, 
manpower. Right. So they must still be pretty low. Yeah, they're still reinforcing their men. Okay. As they're finished up with their reinforcements, they would probably be more willing to join. I'm going to go ahead and re-elect him. Maybe one more time. We'll see. Lose some prestige for no reason, like you do. Okay. Next idea group. Let's see here. Engineering goes well with what? Innovative is always a good shout. Institution embracement costs, innovativeness gain, prestige decay. So this is pretty much vanilla. Advisor costs. How does it, does it have any pr production efficiency and siege ability? Yep. That's it then. We're going to do it. I'm going to go in Inno next. Inno is so good. It helps you stay ahead of time. What does Inno, what does economic Inno do though? Let's take a look. Production goods produced. Oof, that's a good shout as well. Plus we already get the 10% dev cost from there. Maybe we do go eco. Shoot, man. Maybe we do go eco. I think we go eco. Let's go eco. Triumph of the clergy. Um. Sure. I guess. That's fine. Whatever. We just need to get our crown land up a bit as well. Now, as soon as their manpower is higher, they'll be willing to join. But until then, yeah. I could probably make this happen, but it would be a little scary. Like, obviously, Riga wouldn't be a big deal. And I could wipe out these two guys basically immediately. But, I don't know. It's still cutting it a little close for it to be, um, you know. It's a little close for comfort. Now, I can't attack these guys directly because Austria would join because they're a free city. Yeah. I mean, unless I can get them to prepare for war, which I won't be able to do for at least a couple of years, it's not going to happen, sadly. All right. Um. Yeah. I guess we're just chilling then. It's fine. Drill our armies a bit. I bet my force has definitely gone up. Up to 13. Let's go. All right. So let's get our... I should probably get a cav, but I can't really afford it. Okay, I will build a cav. I will build one cavalry. There you go. And one infantry. Here we go. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, the best case scenario is that these guys, yes, make some siege progress. And we attack them in a couple of years before the siege is over. And we're able to win. All right, so take a look here. It says uh, 310 days. So as long as we take it right around the new year, we will be able to take it right on time. Which is ideal. Now these guys get them over here. There you go. We got nine galleys now. So you can see here, they are making progress here. This is fine. I will join. Uh-huh. I'll probably just... Um... What? I didn't... Mm. You know, these are the things you save scum for. I should have just read it. Why did my... That's the second time my allies tried calling me into a war against my other allies. Ay 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 man. See, now I just have to sit here and chill because these guys have a 15,000 stack that they're going to be rock running my way. Yep. How did I know it? So dumb, man. Now I lose a stab for no freaking reason. Is it just me or does it feel like I really am getting boned over by like AI decisions or like these events and stuff like that? Because I, I genuinely do feel like... Okay, hold on a sec. We're going to save scum. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm getting flustered. All right, we're back. I don't know why Bohemia was in that war. I, I, They're not allied to Dortmund or anything like that. So the only thing I can think of is that Austria's guy died. They took over as the emperor. They're not even, like, winning. Yeah, I really don't know what just happened. Honestly, that was really weird. But uh, I'm not doing that. I will not fight these guys. These guys are the strongest nation in the HRE, probably. Like, I don't want to fight a war against them. They're supposed to be my allies. Don't be silly, you know? And then I then I had an event where I lost the stab for no reason. I just... I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like the AI has been ganging up on us this time around, right? Like, I feel like we are constantly losing losing stability, losing mana, losing whatever. Our allies are getting declared war on by each other. It's so strange. Anyways, um, yeah, it's fine. A little bit of reform desire is fine because we're probably going to reform, right? But now you can see here, it is the new year, which means... That uh, the ahead of time bonus has gone down, so it is now right on time. We actually get a neighbor bonus, which is great. Take tech for uh, a little bit of money, a little bit of mana underneath base. Base is 600, so this is minus 52. 
and uh, we get some bonuses here. Finally get a value cannon eventually. We will. And then mill tactics, so that's going to be useful. And uh, I'm just kind of waiting until these guys are willing to join. But it looks like their manpower pool is not recovering. Though, it looks like it is now. So maybe they're just, you know, they just need a little bit of time here. Oh, now these guys are magically allied to Burgundy again. <sighs> what about attacking Lubeck? Yeah, this will work. We're going to have to do that then. This is fine. Now I'm losing a ton of money again. Because my force limit probably went down again. Dude, what is going on? Did I not lower the autonomy here? What? It's just going up. Man, this is like really painful that I keep losing... Force limit because my autonomy is going up. It's costing me a ton of money. What is this? This is garbage. <laughs> That's so trash. Let's make sure we turn that off, though. That's costing me a lot of money as well. Always forget. Uh, I, it's easy to forget, rather. I wouldn't say I always forget, but it is easy to forget. East Frisian Separatists. What's going on over here? Bring our boys over. Hopefully they don't fire like in the next month. We can actually defend ourselves. Um. So he's 46. We'll keep him one more time. And I can yoink Crown Land to go over 20. I cannot quite yet, actually. This is fine. I'll do that. I will do that like that. So we're now over 20. So that means these guys should not be gaining any. Oh, never mind. These guys are still gaining some then. Damn. Yeah, we need to get our Crown Land up a bit. We need to get it up over to close to 30. Uh, Bremen have a church or a workshop. Oh, obviously, we'll go with the workshop. That's easy. Now, let's go ahead and in order to do that, let's go indebted to the burgers because we need to get a couple of buildings here. We need this building there for our mission for this one, which will give us some bonuses. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, right here, this one, which will give us some dev cost and trade power. That's actually not very useful, but it does open up the rest of this mission. Once the clergy is loyal, we'll get some clergy loyalty equilibrium as well as... Uh, 26 development, which will give us a stab, more construction, and... Okay, okay, very good, very good, we can do this. 12 light ships, and, uh, okay, a bark flagship named Frida. I guess it's probably like Frida, or something like that. Okay, so, first of all, let's build that. Trade goods, uh, trade goods expanded, has it, uh, cranked the price up, which is tragic, but, uh, I can understand why they do it. They are pretty useful. They also make them more useful. It's only 75 in base, or it's 50% in base and 75 here. So they're more effective, but they also cost more. So, you know, the good with the bad. Now, I am actually getting kind of tilted about how much money I'm losing. Considering the fact that I am, like, decent development. <laughs> so these guys are getting their favor still curried with me. If I attack these guys... Okay, I don't actually... Let me see here. If I get a Diplo Rep Advisor, I would probably be able to make it happen. But if their manpower goes up just a little bit more, we'll be able to call them in. We are well ahead of time, so let's go ahead and continue to work through that. Probably should have clicked that before I clicked that button. It would have saved me some mana. Get you guys wiped out there. Let's have you guys come on over here. And now whenever I attack these guys, I will probably... It's honestly probably okay that uh, we lost those because at the end of the day, we, um, let's turn our army maintenance down a bit and not drill our army for a bit. We need to save up some money. But at the end of the day, what it does is it lets my war exhaustion, or not war exhaustion, my uh, aggressive expansion tick down. So we'll be able to take more land uh, that is non-co-belligerented because it, it's it's expensive, you know, as, especially considering that we're in the HRE, but it's fine. So... Yeah. Stetten won't join, which is nice. This is actually totally reasonable. I can probably... See, I want to annex Lubeck and Hamburg. It's going to be a lot of AE. <sighs> Riga basically will be a non-factor. It'll take them a while to get over there. Brunswick and Munster will probably steamroll through... Uh, Onspock, Oldenburg... I'm tempted to just wait until these guys are ready to join. Let's turn our army maintenance up. 
I'll wait until my morale is all the way up and I will declare. And then based on if they're ready or not, I'm just gonna, well, first of all, let's see here. I might be able to just buy it with money. Diplo rep, 17 ducats. Okay, let's go ahead and ask these guys to prepare for war. Actually, we'll do the trust because that's permanent and it will give them the plus whatever five reasons generally. See, right there, call everybody in. Conquest of Lubeck. Um, we definitely outnumber them. Wait for our guy to get in here. Generally, I like to reset it just to make sure everybody's still good to go. There you go. These guys are going to get called in. Now, I am going to try to get a quick jump on a couple of their navies. Wipe out as many of their ships as possible. There you go. Now, I will... Hmm... I will, let me see, who else is in this war over here? Nobody interesting. So I will detach one damaged regiment just so they can't build another army. Get over here. Should be able to wipe these guys out, especially on my capital since it's a marsh, right? Beautiful. Now I'll tell my allies, say, okay, Bohemia's over here. Let's say Munster, I want you guys to come down here and siege these guys down. And um, eventually I will get Lubeck as well. So the numbers are definitely much more in our favor now. I think we can actually probably even keep it on speed 5. Now, this is only a level 3 fort, so we can get over here. We have this one here, which gives us the local trade power, which will help out our economy quite a bit, which is good. We're also looting. Wait a minute. Ah, crap. <laughs> our boys need to reinforce a bit. All right, let's also get some spy network on these guys, so whenever we do eventually get over there, we'll be able to actually make some progress on the speed, uh, sieges, rather. So, nice. We're almost there on our next idea group. Can I switch over? Let's switch over to a mill or admin focus, rather. Everybody's getting siege down over here, which is good. Means I'll be able to separate piece people, take their money. We need money. <laughs> Spy network is going up, which is wonderful. I'm a big fan of that. And uh, as soon as we win these sieges, I don't care about some unrest. Doesn't bother me. We've got plenty. All right, Beirut is a PU under those guys, so I knew that. Let's go ahead, take that. Go ahead and go with, I think we're gonna go Eco. That is fine. I was split between Eco and Innovative. They're both solid, honestly. Uh, he's old, he got improved relations. Let's switch over to an admin focus guy. We're still gonna eventually work through this and we're still ahead of time, so it's not a big deal. Uh, lose eight prestige, that's fine. He's five one one and trade efficiency, so. All is well with that. Now, get you guys over here. Make sure we are getting as much war participation as possible. Because Bohemia does have a giant army. and They will get their men over there. So, again, I think I will have these guys annul their alliance with Cologne, with, Bur with uh, Burgundy, rather. Uh-huh. Can I win that siege now? Come on, now. Pull you back. And I could take their war reps. So I'm going to take war reps as well. We're going to need money. We definitely are going to need money. Let's go ahead and go with the Justified Wars for the uh, aggressive expansion. Because I plan to take these two uh, sieges. I plan to take these two provinces in this war. It's going to be very expensive in, the, in terms of aggressive expansion. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we can't. We really can't, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's fine. It's fine. This is reasonable. I can do this. Dang it, man. Just kick me in the nuts, why don't you? All right, so let's see here. We can play this smart. Let's improve relations with people who we don't want to join our coalition. Verdun is one of them. And anybody big. Saxe Lundberg. Lundberg. Just make sure everybody that could join will not be able to. Uh, besides, the war won't be over for a little bit anyways. We're still going to have to peace out some people. and So I will take Hamburg in this war. That will open up one of these mission trees over here. This one here. Uh, gives us uh, some bonuses, some permanent claims on areas that we already have claims on, which is great. Um, manpower recovery for a bit of time. And then Hamburg will get... Um, oh, they are not a subject, so that doesn't matter. Ah, so I could force them to be a peasant's republic. So let's see here. What if instead of annexing them, I vassalize them? I will, I will consider that. It's probably still going to be too much AE, but we'll see. Gonna improve relations with a couple of people first. 
will you guys win a siege, please? A disease outbreak. Since they're they're basically an extension of the player because, you know, they're trying to do something for the player. So let's have you guys give me your war reps, break and all your money. Okay, it's not really a lot of money. I would rather farm some prestige then, and then give me all your money. So I will get five ducats as well as how much prestige? Six. That's fine. That is fine. And improved relations continued. Now, let's see here. This is going to be a tough one. Now, let's see here. If I was subjugate both of them. Uh, excuse me. I cannot uh, subjugate them. Oh, because they're a free city. I knew that. Okay. You cannot subjugate free cities if you did not know. And that's too much war score. Son of a biscuit, man. These guys must be a lot of dev. 25 development. Gosh, dang, man. But if I annex them... So here's the thing. If I annex them, I get this one. And this will give us some bonuses to trade. So I think it may actually be better for us to get to Hamburg early. They'll still be... Or to get Lubeck early. And I think I will actually subsidize, uh, subjugate them. Well, what do we want to do? I will get 30 power for how long? For like 30, 20 years? 25 years? I will make them a Peasants Republic. Or... I just get a free upgrade to the center of trade there. Is it a level three right now? It's a level two. So I would get a level two center of trade. Uh, which one do I prefer, man? Which one do I prefer? They're going to be super disloyal, won't they? We don't really have the Diplo slot. I think we just take the money. So let's piece Hamburg out separately. To humiliate them, take all their money and their trade power. And then uh, that is fine. Riga, yeah. This isn't, oh wait, we can do this right now. Okay, cool. And we won't even get a coalition, which is perfect. I can also humiliate them. <gasps> oh, they have a province. They have Danzig. That's so funny. That's so funny. Okay, so I was going to say, why can I annex these guys? So I can actually humiliate. <laughs> Let's go, dude. All right, this is perfect. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get to do this then let's um let's do it make sure we get that tech oh man look how much money we have because we took all of hamburg's trade power as well as lubeck's trade power that's so good we're gonna get another uh unlawful territory which is annoying might be able to uh, pick up an ally in the uh, in the uh, austria but probably not All right, let's see here. Can I get war reps as well? It's all your money. Decent bit of money. No AE, or at least not enough that I'm worried about. I will definitely do this. I could yoink this development. How much do I have here? 22. What do I need for that mission? 26. So... Hmm. I don't really want to do this. I'm working on a dev, on an idea group. So... I won't yoink the dev. We'll just keep it there. It's fine. So this one here will get upgraded. The center It will upgrade the center of trade because since we just conquered it, we'll go down to one. Uh, this will allow it to go up to two as well as give our leader the entrepreneur. He's already got it. So we'll get plus one Diplo then. Right? So he should be... Uh, okay. Well, maybe it'll just need some time. This is fine. So now we can actually attack these guys over here. But Bohemia will join... And Brunswick, for that matter. Why are you guys allying to all my allies? Stupid. I got to attack these guys. I have mill access. And uh, a lot of uh, aggressive expansion now. This is fine. So let's see here. You guys want to like me? I'm going to be my friend. Unlawful territory in the Empire. No, no, no. You see nothing. I have some loans, but they're all burger loans. So I'm not really too compelled to return them. I'd rather build some buildings get more money this is fine continue to do this tolerance of the true faith is nice um we are so rich oh my gosh we're so rich look how much money we're making 
Um, force limit is now 13, but I will not do it. That's a trap. They're going to try to make me build up more forces and then kick me in the nuts again like they did before. Put me to like me or a workshop in Bremen. Fine by me. I'm already building a workshop in Bremen, as you would see here. Munster is going to war with Cleves. Okay. Let me see here. All right. This is a war I'm willing to do. My general died, unfortunately. Let's make my guy a guy and uh, get you down here. Give there, These guys are trying to keep a stiff upper lipe, right? Lipe. All right. So they have like no armies left for the most part. Let's um do a little something, something like this. And uh, get our war participation. Get on to Koln. I guess they don't want us to get on to Koln. Unlawful territory. Feels bad, man. Hate to see it happen, but it's going to happen no matter what. This is fine, though. Get my war participation, see? So they'll like me even more. Ah, there we go. Three ducats. Easy peasy. Just as just as it was intended. I got a black flag over here. This is fine. This is fine. No, I'm not. I'm also in charge of this province over here, which is actually the war goal. So that's pretty funny. This is something you can do, is you can go to war to help out your allies and then, like, cuck them by not letting them actually conquer land. All right, cool. Let's go with that. That 10% tax is nice. Tolerance of the True Faith will help us out with our stability. As if we, uh, you know, we're going to have rebels. There's nothing we can do about it. So let's go over here. There we go. No. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, well, I guess this is the best we're going to be able to do here. We can state this up, so let's do that. It looks like it is our accepted culture, so that's good. This one over here is not, so let's go ahead and embrace Frisian culture. That will help out our economy more as well. And uh, let's build you here, and, and this one is in the English Channel. I don't think it would be worth collecting over here, but let's try collecting instead of collecting from Lubeck. Let's see what that does for us. So we'll go from 6.7. It might go up a little bit. 6.9. Not bad. Once we get a trade building here, we will get a little bit extra because this estuary is the M's estuary. We'll, we'll give us some trade power there. So it's worth looking into. But a little bit longer of an episode. Hope you guys don't mind. I know I don't. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, all that fun stuff. If you want to uh, support me on my Patreon, you can do that. It's going to be linked in the description. It'll give you early access to all the Chubert vids that you could ever want. But uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chubishu. I'll catch you guys later.